All right, this video discusses section 11.11-5 on the volumes of pyramids and cones. Okay, the volume of a, of a pyramid is one-third the area of the base times the height. Again, capital B is the area of the base. Okay, so take one-third times the area of the base times the height, and that'll give you the volume of the pyramid. Okay, a couple of examples. Um, okay, um, the entrance to the Louvre Museum in Paris, France, is a square pyramid with a height of 21.64 meters. What is the approximate volume of this pyramid? So the volume is one-third the area of the base times the height. Okay, so the, the base is a square, um, is a square. Um, and each side is 35.4 meters. So I take 35.4 times 35.4, and I get 1,253.16 times the height, which is 21.64, and and I get a um, a volume of nine thousand thirty nine point four six cubic meters. Okay, just a warning. Um, you want to use one third instead of point three three, um, since you'll be off um, by a little bit. Okay, the second one. What is the volume of each figure, uh, meaning of this square uh, pyramid? Again, the volume is one-third the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is 6 times 6, or 36, and the height is 8. So, um, that gives you a volume of 96 um, inches cubed. Okay, again, these are all cubic units um, because you're measuring how many cubes or one inch by one inch by one inch cubes or one meter by one meter by one meter cubes will fit perfectly inside that shape. Okay, um, what is the volume in cubic feet of a square pyramid with base edges 40 feet and a slant height of 25 feet? So now they're giving you not the height but the slant height. Okay, um, reminder that the volume is still one-third the area of the base times the height, not the slant height. So I need to find this height. So I will redraw this triangle over here. Okay, this is the height. The slant height is 25, and this length is 20 since it's half of 40. The right triangle so I can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of h. h squared plus 20 squared is equal to 25 squared. H squared plus 400 is equal to um, 625. So I subtract 400 from both sides. H is equal to the square root of 225 or 15. Okay, now that I have my height, I can go ahead and, and find the volume. It's one third the area of the base, which is 40 times 40, times the height, and I get 8,000, 8,000 um, cubic feet. Okay, the volume of a cone is also one-third of the area of the base times the height, but just for convenience, we've plugged in what the area of the base is, pi r squared. So the volume of a cone is, is um, one-third pi r squared h. Okay, what is the volume in, um, in this figure um, round to the nearest tenth? So the volume is one-third pi r squared h. Um, the radius is one, and the height is three. So if you simplify this, you just get pi um, centimeters cubed, and they want it to the nearest tenth, and so it's going to be 3.1 centimeters cubed.
Okay, one more example. What is the volume of the oblique cone at right? Give your answer in terms of pi and as, a, as um, also rounded to the nearest cubic foot. Now, luckily for us, is the volume for an oblique cone is not different than a right cone. So the volume is still one-third pi r squared h. The radius is 15, and the height is 25. Now, in terms of pi, I will kind of forget about pi for a second and do 1 third times 15 squared times 25 and get 1875 feet cubed. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Pi feet cubed. Okay. This is my answer in terms of pi. Now, if I multiply this times pi, I get 5, 8, 90, round to the nearest foot, cubic feet. And this is the answer, round to the nearest foot. Okay, um, so this video was about the volumes of pyramids and cones, and I hope that after seeing this video, you're more able to find um, the volumes of pyramids and cones on your own.